Hi, my name is Cheryl Spangler and welcome to The Good Side of Crypto. And in this video, I am going to show you how to scan your own object anywhere that exists anywhere, in your house, in your room, outside, anywhere you want to go, how to scan something using only your iPhone and an app that is free and put that as an experience in your OVR land. I'm going to walk you through that step by step right now. That is only available on certain iPads, iPhones of 12, 12 Max, 13, 13 Pro Max that have LiDAR capable technology. Okay, this is 3D scanning technology. Okay, and I just got upgraded my phone so I could literally do this. And I'm just going to try to scan in. Now, what I'm ultimately going to do here today is I'm going to scan in my. You're looking at my office without the lights and all that junk. I'm all, I'm going to be scanning in my whole office into an OVR land hexagon, okay? So for now, let's just scan in my dog. She's doing a little freak session. So I'm going to push this red record button. And it basically... I know that it told me beforehand that you're just supposed to go left and right. Now, everything you see that is turning purple, it is scanning. <laughs> okay, so let's just let's get this little ducky in here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get part of the uh, snowflake, which I need to get rid of because it's not snowing anymore. And this is just like up to the ceiling. Okay, so let's just say there is a fan up there. Okay, this is <sighs> unbelievable. Let's just go down. Okay, it makes me want to do everything because it, it's like getting it purple. But um, I will do this again. This is just like a demo. Okay, then I press the finish button, right? So I did high res. I press the record again. Now, it basically shows me in this kind of like template looking thing kind of like what I just recorded okay what I just scanned right it's like 3d but then we say okay start it processes it and it makes a 3d rendering and you can save it in a format that allows you to upload using builder.ovr.ai you can upload this to your land this is how you can create whatever you want on your land. Now, if you've been to builder.ovr.ai, you've seen that they have updated. It will literally cost you $200 to send them a picture of a chair that you have in your house and have them scan it. But instead, look at this. You can scan. This is such good quality. You can scan <laughs> anything you want anything you want just like they have things in OVR land right now this is how you can do it so I'm gonna do the whole room okay because then you can see kind of like I missed some spaces and then I'm going to upload it to an OVR space and I'm going to send the link and I'm going to document this this is called 3d scanner app on the iPhone which is free but your iPhone has to have LiDAR capable technology. And then I can share. If I do share, you can share it in iMessage. Share an AR with iMessage. Larger objects, the OBG was basically what a lot of these um, 3D object recognition software saves as. The GLB, I've seen that. The STL, I've seen that. And so this is this is amazing or you can zip up the file so anyway let me close that and then if you want to uh, press more you can rename the scan duplicate the scan delete the scan capture a thumbnail and save image as hmm, we'll see basically just kind of like created an imagery you know what's really amazing about this is that people are creating these 3d images 
uh, for their background of their YouTube channel. Like when they go to the bathroom or they are like coming up or they're like coming soon or I'll be right back. And then they throw this 3D image. You can now create any image you want. So let me do more again. Capture thumbnail, extend scan, resume scan for this location. So if I, if I do resume scan, it just, I guess it just keeps doing it. And then let me just go back to scans and say more. Crop and edit scan. So, okay, so this is what it looks like when I go into the builder.ovr.ai. To be honest with you, it looks just like this. It's like a piece of land that I, you know, what do you put on it? Well, now you have something to put on it. This is exactly what it looks like, except I'm realizing why my land building has been messed up. Because when I look at this, it actually puts the floor down below the surface and then the ceiling above. Okay, I'm back. I scanned my entire room. I'm going to enter the app, 3D Scanner app. And um, I'm going to click on Scans. And I tried a couple different things, but ultimately the one that's at the top labeled CS Office, you can see it's 666 megabyte. I guess it's 967 different images put together. This is my first attempt at creating an augmented reality experience. And what I'm calling it experience, it's not interactive yet, okay? That's gonna take a step two, but just um, right now, if you, could if you click on the, you can either open it up, okay? Here, let's open it up, okay? And this is the experience. It's it's basically a 3D model of my office, okay? You get to see all my junk. And if you click more on the bottom left, you can say, um, we went through this already, but uh, actually, I'm sorry, close that. Right bottom blue button, share. You wanna share as a GLB. A GLB is the file format that builder.ovr.ai the website where you put your augmented reality experiences into your ovr land that is the format that you're going to need to send uh to to save as okay so this is what happens when you go to builder.ovr.ai you basically are sitting here now i want to show you something very interesting okay this is a money making literally going to be millions and millions of dollars made on this First thing you can do here is you can start a new project, okay? You can load an existing project, like let's say someone makes something for you for your OVR land and they send it to you in the proper format. Um, or you can actually pay someone, okay? If you click on new 3D, you can replace static product images, which basically just means you took a picture with your camera. Let's say you put, took a picture of your dog or a chair or a table or in this example here, it's like, oh, how does this work? Well, fill out the form and upload the requested information, which means upload a picture of what you want to be 3D. You get a quote on what it would cost someone to create that image in 3D. And then you open your assets and you request and you the, open the assets you requested in the builder. Okay. Or you can do what I'm about to show you and do it yourself. And how much does that cost for someone to do that for you? Well, the price of the model for your experience varies according to its complexity. For a simple basic table, it's going to cost you $200. For a purse, it's going to cost you $350. And for high complexity object like an intricate ring, it's going to cost you $600. Can you believe this? This is, this is blowing me away that they're going to be charging this money. But if you don't know any different, you're going to be like, I want something in my land. So you name your project, um, you know, like test, whatever. And you say, here's my product project objectives. I explain your product and what you're wanting and your asset behind the HD image that you're going to be providing. Remember, you have to provide one high definition image for every single angle. Okay. And then it says, please provide a link to your cloud folder, either Dropbox, whatever, and then comments, expected launch date that you want your experience to be. And then you upload your inspiration uploads. And then they're going, you're going to send a request to them. They're going to tell you how much it's going to cost you. You're going to pay them. And they're going to do it. Or you can do what I'm about to show you. You can say, hmm, let's create our own project. New project. Say new empty project. I guess that one I had didn't save, which is fine. And then we're going to... Um, 
I don't have it named or anything. So this is just like what it opens up as. I don't have any land selected yet. I didn't select any of the OVR land I own. I just simply opened builder.ovr.ai. Now I am currently connected. Okay, so I am currently connected. For example, if I go to marketplace on ovr.ai, I am connected. Because if I say visit marketplace, if you're not connected, it's gonna ask you to log in. If you're connected, it's gonna show that, or well, actually I'm not logged in. So let me just log in, say sign in. And logging in is a good side of crypto. And by logging in, you're basically attaching your wallet. And that in essence is allowing the builder.ovr.ai to know what lands you've purchased. So probably when I go to publish it, my experience, it's gonna say which piece of land do you want to publish this experience on. And so, you know, you can see here that, okay, the wallet is attached, I'm logged in. Now let me go back to builder.ovr.ai and say down here on the bottom left, it'll take audio, video, images, and models. And so models is what I actually want because that is a 3D model that someone created for you or that you're gonna create on your own with your phone. And so initially, I did not see anything in here. I had uploaded just like an image as a test and I noticed the image ended up in the image area. And so you just, you wanna create something that is already 3D. So I, so how did I get my image from Dropbox is where I have it to here. I basically, um, I just took it and I drug it drag files here to upload. Now obviously it's gonna either replace it or add it. And that's the only 3D object I actually have because after I did the sample one that you saw, um, I redid, I you know I did the whole room as best I could. I actually thought everything was included, but when I look at the 3D model, it's kind of like not so good, but that was just my first try. And let me just expand this again. Now it should put it here again, okay? So that's what all, that's what you do. So under my assets, under models, then you just click and drag it out to your OVR hex. Okay, now it's processing. Give it a second. You don't want anyone to get messed up now. So um, here's what I mean, like the room is exactly probably about three feet below and the rest is like above or probably right in the middle. So let me zoom in a little bit here. So you can see when I put this on the land, now I'm doing this for the very first time, so I don't know anything more than what I'm showing you right now. I don't know what this is gonna look like on the land, but let's just go ahead and publish it and see what the heck it looks like. The goal is to get something up onto our OVR land. We'll figure everything else later. So I'm gonna title my um, Cheryl Office, Save Project. And the second step after this gets out onto an OVR hex land is to animate what happens inside it so that when you come visit, we can communicate, actual communicate. Your attribution, it's optional. Okay, now you will find this project in your projects list, scene name, Cheryl office. Okay, allow OVR to promote my scene. Sure, yes. Okay, now this is very, very janky, okay? But it's okay, it's an experiment. Let's do save and publish. I'm expecting when I do this, it's gonna tell me which hex that I own does it want to put it on. Exporting scene. This is some groundbreaking stuff here. Not only are we saving a lot of money, having someone do two, three, six hundred dollars per object, but, um, but you can do it yourself. Okay. Now it says select where you want to publish your content. Now search by NFT ID, land ID. Okay, OVR Workspace. It's a test environment that you can use to view content from your app account. Huh. I don't wanna do a test, I wanna do real. So let's just pick one, hold on. Let's just go over here a second to my assets. I'm just gonna pick any OVR 
piece of land. This happens to be something near my house. Um, and if I click on that one piece, it's what I'm looking for is here. This is the NFT ID of that land. So let's copy, right click copy. So that's the hex I want to put it on, okay which is this one right here. And let's go back to OVR Builder and let's say, okay, so, okay, we, we, did, we weren't patient enough. Here, we were not patient enough. It actually populated the choices. One, you could put it on a test net, which of course I don't want to do that. <laughs> or you could pick from any of like the pages of, of NFTs. Okay, that's very cool. So let me just um, paste search. I paste it in the NFT ID. If this doesn't happen really easy, I'll just select one that shows up. So let me select the one that I pasted in. I select it to a checkbox, press OK. Um, let's see, we recommend your scene use no more than 50,000 triangles. We recommend use no more than 25 unique materials. Yeah, I don't know what any of this means, so let's just say publish scene. <laughs> and someone, I just want you to be able to go see what I put on there because this is going to be groundbreaking in helping people get things to their OVR land. Okay, your scene has been published. Let's go into the OVR app and see what's going on. Okay, I'm back in OVR app on my phone. I basically clicked on OVR experiences and then of course you end up here and then you kind of scroll to the right, you click on most recent and Stishirl office will show up. And I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna see what it looks like. Again, take it with a grain of salt guys, I'm just trying this, but I guarantee within a couple days I'm gonna have an amazing experience up there because I'm gonna take my phone out to Alexandria, Virginia where I did my first OVR video and I'm gonna scan the dock. Let's do live experience remotely. And I'm working on putting animation in the OVR experience. So that the sun is shining. I knew it would. It's all about Check it out 